Mastering Everyday Phrases, Duck Under the Ball. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of the English language. Everyday phrases that paint vivid pictures with just a few words. Specifically, we're going to explore what it means to duck under the ball. Whether you're learning English as a second language or simply looking to polish your linguistic skills, understanding these phrases can add a colorful layer to your conversations. So, let's get started. The phrase, duck under the ball, combines two simple concepts, duck and the ball. To duck in this context means to lower your head or body quickly to avoid something coming towards you. It's a swift, downward movement, much like the action a duck makes when it dips into the water. The ball, on the other hand, is a straightforward term referring to any spherical object used in sports or play. When we put these words together, duck under the ball, describes an action where someone quickly lowers their body to avoid a ball that is moving towards them, potentially at a high speed. It's a phrase often used in sports and physical activities but can also be metaphorically applied to other situations in life. To help you understand how to use duck under the ball in real life conversations, let's look at some examples. In sports, during the dodgeball game, she managed to duck under the ball at the last second, avoiding being hit. In everyday situations, I had to duck under the ball thrown by the kids playing in the park to avoid getting hit as I walked by. Metaphorically speaking, sometimes, in life, you have to duck under the ball, avoiding unnecessary conflicts or problems that come your way. These examples show that the phrase can be used literally, referring to the physical action in sports or play, or figuratively, to describe avoiding challenges or conflicts. Now that you understand what duck under the ball means and how to use it, let's practice with a couple of exercises. Try creating your own sentences using this phrase either in a literal sports context or metaphorically in everyday life scenarios. Remember, the more you practice, the more natural it will become to use these phrases in your conversations. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, duck under the ball. We hope this video has not only expanded your English vocabulary but also encouraged you to embrace the beauty and creativity of everyday language. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll find yourself weaving these phrases into your dialogues effortlessly. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy learning!